Scott's from. We'll join the 100 mile movement later. First up, Ron's looking at the world of fine art. Each year, Australia's richest natural history art prize, the Waterhouse, continues to attract bigger crowds and an ever-increasing array of amazing artwork. Perhaps it's to do with the richness of the subject. Drawing on the wonders of the natural world, artists can indulge their artistic passion and curiosity. From now until September the 6th, the South Australian public can call into the museum and marvel at works as varied as they are imaginative. And there's always the possibility of seeing an artist at work, like Stephen Trebilco, whose impasto technique, using heavy dollops of paint, brings this basket of lemons to life. It gives you freedom, freedom to paint. And yeah. it's texture. Yes, and the texture. And that wonderful piece that you won the painting award with is, is very much about texture, isn't it? It is. The Banksias themselves are, are a very tactile subject and uh, this form of painting is a very tactile painting. When they're dry you can, you can run your hands over it and it's, it's got a nice feel about it. For some hay fever sufferers it may be a little disconcerting. So real in fact it's almost as if the pollen leaps from the canvas. And that sensual approach typifies so much of what's on show as part of this year's Waterhouse exhibition, including this piece by overall winner Matilda Michelle. It's also just exquisitely painted and, and you know the more closely you look at it the more detail you see and of course not many people would think of painting dead fish but it makes a, a really beautiful piece of artwork mm. and is quintessentially natural history which is one of the main reasons why we really liked it and picked it as an overall winner. A total of 101 finalists are on show and many of the pieces are still available for sale. And many of them, like Janine McIntosh's piece, using thin leaf mallee leaves from Kangaroo Island, are a showcase of the natural beauty of South Australia. The fact that each leaf was hand-picked individually and then stitched on, the amount of effort and work that goes into something like that, but having the vision to start with to do something like that, quite extraordinary. Inspiration for many of the artists has come from the most unlikely of sources, like a trip to Monato for sculptor Colin Rogers. The visual nature, the stunning visual nature of a lot of the pieces, the meerkats, um, you can almost hear them. Oh, they're fantastic and the kids coming into the exhibition are just loving that. I mean, my little girl runs up to it. They look so lifelike and, you know, they look like meerkats and the story behind it is lovely as well. The artist had been given this um, effectively fake rock and he wasn't quite sure what to do with it and then he saw some meerkats and he thought, that's it, that's what I need to do with that. It's beautiful and it's fun and it's quirky and again very much natural history but with a bit of a, a sense of humour in there. The Waterhouse Natural History Art Prize exhibition is on show on the ground floor of the South Australian Museum.